Hello and welcome to my John Wick Chapter 2 review, but before I get into it, I want to say a spoiler alert for this movie, so consider yourselves warned. Second thing is, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video, of course. Let's get into it. John Wick Chapter 2. Is it good? Yeah, yeah, it's really fun. It's very much on par, in my opinion, with the first John Wick as far as action and story. And I did very much enjoy that we got an expansion of the John Wick universe where we get you know the fact that there are more than one continental that it's an international endeavor and that we have different rules for this world and you got to adhere to them or you're you know gonna burn down your house the premise of this movie is pretty much you have ricardo scomarcio's character santino in this movie he calls it a mark mark on John Wick and that means that John Wick has to do a job for him regardless of what it is and if John Wick refuses then Santino has the right to kill him but instead of killing him Santino burns his house down and so he gets you know he gets on John Wick's bad side John Wick still takes the job does the job but Santino tries to kill him you know tie up loose ends as they say and John Wick's like not having it because he's John Wick and he doesn't want to die. The only thing I can compare this movie to is the first John Wick but don't get me wrong they are two definitely different films. In the first John Wick he's the hunter for all of the movie. He's on the revenge tour and he's the aggressive person. In the second John Wick however he's on the defense for pretty much the whole movie. Even the reason that he takes the job that he is obliged to take is because he just doesn't want this guy coming after him. The only time he's on the aggressive side is at the very end with Santino. Keanu Reeves just never ceases to be good in my opinion. I love that he still gives life and gravitas to this amazingly cool character that is John Wick. I love that he does his own stunts too. We're not getting, you know, 20 different cuts for one little fight scene where you switch out Keanu for some dude who looks nothing like Keanu. He's like, he's doing his own stunts. He's shooting people. He knows like, he looks like he knows how to use a weapon. And him and Lawrence Fishburne, I mean, that whole sequence just had me smiling from ear to ear. Let's talk about some side characters in this movie. Um, Santino, you know, Ricardo Scomarcio's character in this movie is very good. I enjoyed seeing that weasel type of character. He was, you know, irritating to me and I imagine that that's how they planned it. So, great job. Ian McShane's character, Winston, he was really cool. I enjoyed, I mean, I didn't enjoy, but I totally felt his kind of pain when John Wick shoots Santino at the very end and he's like, oh. What did you do? Because you cannot conduct business on continental grounds lest you suffer the wrath. So I felt his genuine uh, sadness because now he's going to have to send his dudes after John Wick. And it's probably because he's not going to get those dudes back. Uh, Ruby Rose in this movie as Ares, the silent uh, henchman of Santino. He, she was fun. I enjoyed what she did in the movie. I do feel like she was mute uh, only to get these those sweet stylized subtitles, but whatever. Common in this movie was fun. I enjoyed him, but there was one thing where I was like, when he was threatening John Wick, I was like, dude, that's John Wick. You, you calm down. You're not gonna threaten John Wick. Just stop. Uh, Lance Reddick in this movie as the the check-in dude at the Continental, he was fun. I enjoyed him. He just commands, like, he commands respect from me, and I enjoy people that do that. My verdict on this one is a Blu-ray. I think that everybody who liked the first one will definitely like this one. And if you already have the Blu-ray of that first one, go ahead and pick this one up when it comes out. This is a very fun movie. It has that John Wickness to it. It's a really good movie and Keanu does great work in it and I feel like they set up sequels in a very you know easy way where now everybody literally everybody's gonna be coming after John Wick there you go that's my review of John Wick chapter 2 but I want to know what you think about this movie so I need you to go into the comment section down below and write out your thoughts on the movie or my review of the movie and if you enjoy this review go ahead and hit that thumbs up button it really helps me out 
And if you want to see more reviews like this one and reviews of classic movies like God, The Godfather, Citizen Kane, Casablanca, you can subscribe and get notified every time I put up a new review or a trailer reaction if that's your thing. You go ahead and check out my last review. It's Mad Max Part 2, The Road Warrior. If you haven't already, it's right there. And the subscribe button is right there. Thank you for watching this review.